what's up guys and welcome back to black sheep today we have a pretty good one a pretty good one uh we have the blm uh it's pretty much getting sued but before we get into that check this out because so candace owens called it the whole time this morning i woke up to candace owens being outside of my house with a news crew um she was demanding that I come outside. Hello. Um, I was just looking to speak to whoever is at this property because it's listed as the Black Lives Matter property. Hmm. Sir? Nothing. Hello? The fact that she's came outside my house and demanded things harassed oh yeah that that is demanding like i would be scared if candace owens was at my house uh because she is ferocious uh in catching bullshit lies but carry on candace me uh is unacceptable we're not trying to harass you we'll gladly leave we're just wondering if we can speak to anybody y'all <laughs> i really need my family to be safe i need to be safe oh come on hey look Fake tears. Fake tears all day long. Come on. I need my child to be safe. And this, this, what happened this morning is not safety. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember, but she got on there and was making a whole big Instagram bit about it i'm not even gonna play it because it's just nothing but lies crying scared to death for her life pretty much everything and and there you have it that was the whole video uh candace owens exposed her right then and there you don't mess with candace owens plain and simple <laughs> but blm is getting sued getting sued let's get into this right now Black Lives Matter under scrutiny as 26 BLM chapters sue the organization and its leaders, accusing them of defrauding local activist groups and stealing more than $10 million in donations. Back in Just going to let you know while we're watching this and enjoying it, I am drinking some Knob Creek bourbon. Uh, it's very tasty and refreshing after a hard day's work of a middle class person. But let's continue. In April, we also learned BLM leaders bought a secret six million dollar mansion in southern california for quote safety so six million using 90 million dollars after george floyd's death is blm more caught up with the cause or the cash mm. here to react columbus mm. united's christian watson christian uh, great to see you this morning here we have 26 chapters suing the national organization for defrauding them of donations what's your take Anyone who was following BLM from the very beginning is not surprised by this. BLM was an organization started to push the lie that America is systemically racist and America is inherently disposed against black people and America is, is killing black people in a way that is way beyond the proportion of any other country. This was the bill of goods. BLM sold to black Americans and yes, bad ideas they did. attract bad actors and bad ideas also attract defeat. This is what defeat looks like. I think that this is a clarion moment for black Americans in America to come out of the BLM era and say, we will not embrace defeat. We will not embrace defeatism. We will embrace victory, victory that is inherent to the ideas that America was built upon. That's a vision elucidated by men like Booker T. Washington, by other black entrepreneurs throughout history who had much worse conditions than black Americans have today, who managed to turn lemons into lemonade. That's an idea that BLM rejected from its inception. But we have to get back to that idea in order to escape the effects of this very disappointing term. You know, what's interesting about what you said is you you disconnected or you actually didn't disconnect. You connected the idea from the organization. So there will be those. Um, and I'm thinking of Mark Cuban, for example, of the Dallas Mavericks ownership in the NBA, who will say the organization itself, while we've pointed out, had communist underpinnings, communist ideology and now clearly was fraudulent defrauded its own um donators while the organization may be wrong the slogan stands by something that 
someone like Cuban would say, stands for progress, Black Lives Matter. But what you're saying is not only is the organization poisoned, but the ideas within the slogan are what give rise to the poisoned organization. Mm, mm, mm. When you misplace value and you assign it to an attribute that I can't control, that's not valuable. Value has to do with I as an individual, not as a black man, but as an individual, and especially as an American, can control. That's how our founders got value. That's how people who created this great constitutional republic got value. But BLM assigned to a, a quality that you can't control, your skin color, and therefore put the emphasis on that. And people may say, well, Christian, it's because there are racial problems in America. Okay, if there are racial problems in America, and I'm... Let, let me just say, as a white person, clearly seen, I'm white. Um, there's always going to be racism in the world, always, in in every state. Um, you're never going to get rid of it. It's just, you know, you got hateful people out there. There's just always going to be someone there to show racism, real racism, not the, uh, the Nazis and the white supremacists that Democrats call, uh, including Joe Biden, pretty much saying uh, against their democracy, all Trump supporters in his last speech, it kind of looked like Hitler, like a Hitler speech. I'm not calling him a Hitler, so don't ban me from YouTube yet. I'm just saying it kind of looked like a Hitler speech. Uh, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be talking about that too. But as far as BLM, you know, BLM, let me put it to you this way. I buy crypto and before I buy crypto in any kind of token, any kind of coin, I do all my due diligence on it. I'm talking all the way down to the owner, to the people involved, the whole team. I go to LinkedIn. I look at the, all their history. I see what they have accomplished, what they haven't accomplished. I do everything. So when I see BLM come out and pretty much sold the whole idea to America and everybody jumped on board, NFL, Major League Baseball, NBL, all of them uh, bought the idea, give money to BLM. And she's living in a six million dollar mansion that she bought. This is my opinion. I don't have all the facts, but I got a feeling that all the facts are getting ready to start coming out. But that's all I'm saying. Do all your due diligence on anything that you send money to, especially organizations like this. That's that's it. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Certain there are. You don't address them by putting a bigger emphasis on race. You address them by de-emphasizing race, embracing colorblindness, and proceeding forth from that premise, not the bad premise, which was mixed right. together with Marxism that BLM was founded on. Here, here. What a what a what a beautiful message. You're exactly right. The idea. So there you go, guys. BLM looks like fraud to me, but who am I to say anything? Just do your due diligence on anything or any organization you send money to if you want to send money. I think sending money to the right organization is great. It makes you feel good inside. It fills the soul. Um, just do your due diligence on any organization. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, turn on notifications if you like this kind of buzz. Black Sheep is out of here.